And now it's time for a couple of things that are on my mind, and this is week 110 of me doing this as a full-time occupation. And this week I did a couple of things that were a little different than my normal workflow. Uh, we're gonna call them specials because they are. Uh, the first thing we shot was on Wednesday, which you haven't seen yet. Uh, this was a video we did about a high-speed camera. My friend Matt Reese stopped by, and he is uh, helping to sell these cameras for the company that makes them. And this is an industrial strength, you know, super high speed camera. So it's not inexpensive. In fact, it's very expensive, but it was fun to play with it and see uh, what some of its capabilities are. And in the video, you're going to see how it works. We'll look at the control panel that you use to take the pictures. And Matt does a very good job of explaining all the different things you have to think about when doing high speed photography. There's a lot of this high speed photography on uh, YouTube, but I didn't see too many videos about how these cameras actually work. So you'll see that. Uh, right now the video is about 40 minutes in its draft form. We're gonna try to shave it down a little bit, but it was fun, it was actually fun to do, and it's been really fun to watch it. We took a few really cool videos of some things happening in slow motion that will be uh, really cool to watch, especially when you get a context as to how the camera actually works. And the other thing we're going to be doing this week is heading down to Florida, as I mentioned, because SpaceX is firing off uh, their second Falcon Heavy rocket. Uh, the last one they did was over a year ago. Uh, this is the uh, updated version of that rocket that uses the new SpaceX Block 5, uh, which means it's a little bit more powerful than the prior version of it. And they'll be lifting off a very heavy satellite and putting it into uh, geosynchronous orbit. So it's going to uh, be quite a scene. And what we should hopefully be able to see is the rocket launch, of course, but also the two boosters here on the side come back and land not far from where we will be watching from. So we should be able to see everything from an observer's perspective, which I think will be pretty cool because you can certainly get a much better video feed on the SpaceX site. But I think it might be cool to see what we experience when we're on the ground watching it. And I'll do my best to relay that to all of you. The last rocket launch we did here on the channel was four years ago already. I can't believe it's been that long. So I'm really eager to get back there and check it out. And we'll be uh, working on that hopefully on Tuesday. It really is going to be uh, dependent as to when SpaceX is actually able to get it off the ground. Uh, the weather Tuesday is looking a little shaky, uh, but the weather Wednesday is looking better. So if they can get it off Tuesday, they will. If not, I'll stay an extra day and go ahead and do that. Covering the space program when you live in Connecticut is really difficult and expensive because every time they delay the uh, launch of the rocket, you got to move your flight around, you got to extend the rental car, you got to extend the hotel. Like it's pretty crazy, but it's so fun uh, to be able to see this stuff happen. And I really enjoy sharing my passion for space with all of you. And I do hope you all have a moment to tune in uh, when that video goes up. So stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun down in Florida to see the launch of this monster rocket. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.